Greetings, airplane collectors. I'm your host, Ray. I'm pleased to announce that there has been an update to a situation that has occurred at NG Model. In July of 2024, NG Model uploaded to their Instagram page that they would be releasing 1 to 400 scale replicas of Malaysia Airlines Boeing 777-200s that were involved in fatal accidents, these tragedies being MH17 and MH370. A few days after this release, NG Model posted an update indicating that these models would be cancelled as a result of public outcry and negative feedback. A little bit over a month has passed since this situation. I uploaded a video on July 27th documenting what had happened. Today is August 31st in 2024. Unexpectedly, NG Model uploaded images of these models after they were manufactured, even though they said they would be cancelled. That is all I have to say with regards to updates to the situation. Now I would like to share my speculations as to the implications of what this means, as well as my opinion on this developing situation. So when NG Model uploads images of completed models to their Instagram page, it usually means that the models have completed manufacturing, well, obviously, and they will be dispatched to retailers and collectors. Meaning that even though they said the release was canceled, it isn't entirely unreasonable to assume that they decided to revert the cancellation and go ahead with releasing them. So to those collectors who wanted these models or who had already ordered these models, well, pre-ordered these models, you have a pretty solid chance at receiving your models. You don't have to worry about these models being canceled. I believe this is excellent news. The first reason I believe this is excellent news is because, well, the collectors who were upset of, about the fact that these models were going to be cancelled don't have to worry about them anymore because there's a pretty solid chance that they will get their models. And I'd assume that the collectors who ordered these are going to be pretty happy about that. And any time I see collectors happy, I'm happy. The second reason I think this is excellent news is that this demonstrates that NG wasn't going to fold under the pressure that was put on them from the initial release. A lot of collectors, well not a lot, but a decent handful of collectors were suggesting that releasing replicas of these aircraft was questionable and offensive to those who were affected. Those who were affected being family members, friends, the victims themselves, and anyone who participated in the investigations into these accidents following uh, well, the accidents themselves. Now. A lot of people were saying that releasing them would be a way for NG to profit off of the victims and those who were affected. And initially in July, I said that this was dumb reasoning and I believed that it was really unfounded and just frankly stupid and immature. Those are the words that I used. Now we have solid evidence as to the true reasoning as to why NG chose to release these models. I would like to show that to you right now. So I'm going to grab you guys and rotate the camera. What you see on my computer screen is publicly available on the NG Model Instagram page as of August 31st of 2024. Right here is the replica of the aircraft lost in MH17 next to its box. On the box, go ahead and read what that says. Remembering 298 lives. That is a lot of people. Right there. The other box arts have similar words. So that pretty much confirms the real reason as to why NG wanted to release these models. It's the same reason as any other manufacturer would do if they were to release these models as well. It is to remember those who were affected and to remember the events of MH17 and MH370. In no way, shape, or form are these models profiting off of the dead and those who were affected by the accident. Because simply one, there's no way to profit off of them, why would you even try that? And two, this is to pay tribute to those who were affected, it's to remember what happened. And we know what happened with MH17, and it's important we remember everyone who we lost. But I also want to place particular attention on MH370 and why remembering MH370 is especially important. Because with MH370, we still don't know what, hap what really happened to the aircraft and all on board 
10 years after the event happened. And this event has been largely forgotten by the media. By us aviation enthusiasts, it's very much still around and relevant, but this serves as a way to rekindle the flame of, you know, we want to know what happened. And this is indicated on the box art for both MH370 models from NG, saying that it says hashtag search on, meaning that the search is not stopped and we will not stop until we know exactly what happened and why. And yeah, these models are to serve as reminders as of what happened. And I can only imagine what those who were affected by both accidents are feeling as a result of losing their friends, family members, loved ones. I mean, the people who were lost, it's mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, friends, co-workers, you name it. There were people, almost 300 people on both accidents. We need to remember this stuff, and this is exactly what these models are doing. It's not to make profits off of the victims and their families and those who were affected. I think that argument is even more so now, it's even more so poorly constructed. Now, of course, people are still offended by the releases. They're saying that it's questionable, it's insensitive, and we've actually seen that the people who know people who were affected by the accident are not offended. One of you guys commented on my previous video that I posted in July when I first talked about the situation. One of you said that you guys wanted this model because it was a way to remember the events of MH370. The, the person who commented knew people who were affected by MH370 and they wanted a way to remember that. So that just proves my point even further. And to those who are saying that this is offensive and insensitive, you're just choosing to be offended by something you shouldn't be offended about. No one who was who is in any position to be offended by them, but by these models being released, none of them are actually offended. So there's no reason to be offended. And besides, the people that, I mean, people who are offended by them are getting worked up over something like this. This is not the model itself, but it's very similar uh, in principle. We're getting offended over this. It's a die-cast airplane model. Grow up. See the reason as to why they're releasing this. There's no reason to be offended. This is a way... We could have used this as a way to come together and say, rest in peace those who lost their lives, and we continue looking uh, for what happened to MH370, and we continue remem remembering what happened in MH17. But instead, people chose to get offended. That's just, that's just horrible, in my opinion. That's just wrong. It's immature, it's stupid, it's, it's really disappointing. And I'm frankly embarrassed to be part of a community that thinks that way. This is definitely shameful on the diecast airliner collecting community that people are offended by an airplane release. And to make matters worse, those who are saying that this is a questionable release, they're not even providing any reasoning. They're just choosing to be offended. You don't have to be offended, okay? This is not targeted towards anyone. No ill will or harm is being done against anyone in releasing these models. Yet people are still finding ways to be offended. It just, that's what baffles me so much. All right, that might have come across as very condescending. Let me regroup and just apologize for that. But those are my thoughts on the situation. Now, if you disagree with my opinion and you believe that there is good reason to be offended by these releases, I do encourage that you come to my comment section so we can engage in a discussion because I have my opinions, but I also want to understand the opinions of others. And by in understand, my way of understanding is through reasoning and logic. So I do want to hear it from other people. But now we actually have firm evidence as to why NG released them. So I, I believe personally that there is really no reason to be offended at this anymore. And we should, you know, just come together and say, you know what, this is a good release. Let's appreciate what it's for. And let's remember MH17 and MH370. Now, understand that every time I say I disagree with people, I disagree with their opinions, okay? I'm not in targeting the individual. I'm targeting the... How do I put this? I'm targeting their opinion, for lack of a better term. But yeah, I have no... I'm not against anyone personally, of course. I, I do. It's just disagreement. And disagreement happens all the time. And what I want to, to do by making this video is to encourage discussion. Because whenever there's disagreement and whenever opinions clash, the best thing you can do is talk about it. Because if once, you, once you stop talking, bad things start happening. So I want to hear differing opinions and I want to... 
I want to discuss this. I want to understand. But that's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me. Again, share your opinions. If you agree with mine, great. If you don't agree with mine, please share your opinions. I would like to understand where your thinking coming, uh, comes from. But that's all I've got for today. Like, comment, and subscribe. Happy building. Happy collecting. Take good care of yourselves. Order these models if you want them. I think they look pretty good. I'm not sure about MG's 777-200s and 1-400 scale. I wouldn't be the one to ask about that, but I think they look pretty good. See you guys later. Take good care of yourselves.